Hey guys, it's Naz. Welcome back or to my channel. Today is a Friday. I thought I would do a few days in my life vlog. I honestly have no idea what exactly I'm going to do this weekend. So I figured I'd just make a whole huge video of it. Today, I obviously have to work. But after work, I need to go to my Invisalign appointment. I have to take the train there back to Jersey. So after my Invisalign appointment, my boyfriend's going to pick me up. And then I'm going to go over his house i'm gonna hang out i obviously showered so i'm gonna show you what i do with my hair like after the shower a little mini routine i also did just get keratin in my hair so my hair is obviously a lot more cooperative than usual and so much easier to manage but i do still think these products help my hair like a lot like you definitely tell when i don't put them in even when i have keratin versus when i do so i use the way leave-in conditioner and the hair oil these are literally amazing i absolutely love them they do wonders for my hair so i just take like six seven pumps of this and put it all over and now i take two pumps of the oil on each side actually like one and a half rub it through my hands i'll focus on the bottom first and then i'll take whatever is left over and bring it up i literally noticed such a huge difference with this oil it just dries like amazing and wonderful i love it now for the other side and now my hair feels amazing. So now we're gonna move on to skincare. I don't have that many steps for my morning routine. It's pretty much just moisturizer and eye cream. Actually, I'm gonna use the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc first. Now I'm taking my Neutrogena Gel Moisturizer. I really, really need to get another moisturizer, like one that's a little bit more hydrating. I have combo skin, so it's like I don't want something that's going to make me look oily because I do get oily throughout the day, but then I feel like I need a little bit more initial moisture when I do my skincare. So for now, I'm going to be using this until I get a new one. Now for eye cream, I'm using my Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Wow, my bags look terrible. So that is it for skincare. You guys really need to get the Trader Joe's hash browns. They are amazing. Breakfast is done, yay. I started eating my omelet already because I'm just so hungry and my hash browns were cooking. I kind of messed up my omelet when I like try to flip it over, but it's okay. It might not be the prettiest, but it tastes freaking delicious. And then I have my coffee. So I'm just gonna eat and then do some work.
lighting in the car is so weird, but I completely forgot to vlog yesterday. I just went to my Invisalign appointment and then Paul picked me up and we had dinner at his house. And today, as you saw, I went to Wolfgang Steakhouse and I went to Yestercades and I beat Paul in every single game but one because he sucks and is only good at the That's one game true. he plays at regularly. Which um, he could watch me play at twitch.tv slash boba turkey. <laughs> yeah, but basically that's the only game that he's good at because I beat him at every oh other God. single one. That's not true. How does it feel? And he was so confident too that he was gonna win and he just only won one game. But that's not true, I won all the games. No? What's the proof? No, but anyways, we're gonna go to a bar near his house and I'll update you then. Well, fuck it. I could be a fellow. Hey guys, it's Sunday and we haven't done anything yet. We're eating our kind of first meal. We got fun. And we're watching Modern Family, our favorite show ever. You want to talk about a phone call I got for you? They were acting. You can like speed this up in the video. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking too long. We really gotta start a food vlog. Ooh. Ah. What do you think? Really good, actually. Seven point one. That sounds pretty average. Not very good. <laughs> no. Mm, the broth is yummy. I think I'd give it an eight, or maybe an eight point five. Looks good. Update, we just went to Mango Mango. If you live in one of these places, I highly recommend you go. We love this place. We didn't do anything else after we ate besides sleep and watch more Modern Family. And we had the second nap of the day. So not a very productive Sunday, but that's okay. We deserve it. I got a mango sundae, but I got coconut ice cream for the second scoop instead of mango. And Paul got a strawberry... And, wait, where's the strawberry and banana? A strawberry Nutella. Oh, strawberry Nutella Come crepe. On. With green tea ice cream. And I haven't gotten this before, so this is my first time, but I'm so excited and I love their other desserts. So, I know it'll be delicious. First bite. <laughs> I gotta cut it. <laughs> <laughs> 7.1. Why do you give everything a 7? It deserves way more than that. Mm. Everything from this place is like a 10 out of 10. There's no such thing as a 10. Yes, there is. I am. Mm. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> so excited. Okay. This is a much better shot of it. And then there's mango, like real mango on the bottom. Mm. Delicious. This really hits the spot. Want to try some? I can get more ice cream. Sorry. Oh my god. So you can't make it a 10 out of 10. It is a 10. I mean, there's nothing better. Exactly. You haven't tried everything in the world, so it Fine. Not be a... I'll give this a 9. 9 point what? Let's make point something. 9.6. I don't know how I could get any better than this, honestly. You could rate it out of a bell curve, and then you could use the Z score. So, like, you know how like a no. bell curve is? I don't know if this is going to reach the target audience. But if you put it on a bell curve, it makes a lot more sense. Okay, we don't have to bring math into the Z food. Score. It actually makes a lot more sense. Bro, well, we have not been eating healthy. But that's okay. We deserve it. I'm going to try some of my coconut ice cream. Mm -mm. Sorry, mine just tastes way too good. I think we should change your channel to a food vlog. I feel like we eat enough for it. Mine so too. I feel like that should be a TikTok. I totally could have made an aesthetically pleasing TikTok of us getting this. Damn it. We'll come here once a week, it's fine. Hey guys, another update. So you know what that means? We're eating food again. So we got breakfast. Today is Monday. We only eat and watch shows on your vlog. I know. This entire vlog has turned into what we eat in a weekend. And us just like watching TV and basically doing nothing. But that's just the reality of our lives is all we do is eat and watch TV. I mean, we did go to Yestercade, so that was something I went outside for. But 
We went to a local bagel shop. They mixed match our bagels. I got a sesame and they put his stuff on the sesame and then my stuff on the everything. So that's like probably minus the point in our rating right there. But besides that, how's yours? It's good. 6.2. Is there a hash brown in it? Home fries. It's the fucking potato wedges. Not a fan. That's what I told you it was potato wedges. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. They didn't have like regular hash browns. But we got this and then we also got Dunkin'. We got the pumpkin spice latte. Oh no, my camera's gonna die soon. And then we also got donuts for later. But yeah, this is my first time trying this. I'd say this is like a seven. I feel like it grows on you the more you sip on it. But yeah, this is all we're doing for now and probably the most eventful thing out of my day. Hey guys, I'm finally home. I don't know why, but that like actually took a really long time. I thought it would be so much faster to get off at Newark Penn and then take the path to World Trade Center instead of going to New York Penn and then having to take the subway all the way back down. But it took me two hours, which I feel like is just really long. I don't know why. I mean, at first I was like, how the heck do I get a path ticket? And the path was already there and I was like still getting my ticket. And then I I had to wait for the next path and it just stood there like it took forever to leave and by the time it actually left it was 17 minutes so but yeah i'm finally home i'm just putting my stuff away and i want to show you what paul's mom got me from korea she got me skincare so i'm so excited to use it so we've got several things here which i'm so happy and grateful for and obviously her that korean skincare is amazing so i can't can't wait to tie these out tonight. So she got me these. This one is under eye mask. She got me a couple of those. These, which are for your cheek. It's like the same thing, but for like a greater part of your face. Then she got me this aqua brightening mask. And this says it's a brightening sheet mask that illuminates dull skin and leaves a dewy glow, which is exactly what I need. She also got me a snail mask set, which I'm so excited for. It says it's moisturizing and firming, and I've never used anything like this, but I heard that like snail masks were good. It says silky smooth microfiber sheet with honey extract helps nourish the skin while providing elasticity. So this is also a something that I need. I'm so excited to use. I think I'm going to use this one tonight. Then she got me this which it's like a spray like a moisture spray this is supposed to hydrate your skin which i am a little bit confused on because like doesn't water make your skin more dry i honestly don't know i feel like i look dead right now so i definitely need skincare this is what it looks like and there's different settings so even if you have dry skin you can use it and even if you have oily skin you can use it i might need to look up like a video for this to do it because i don't really know what i'm supposed to do with that but it's really cool yeah that is all the skincare that she gave me i think i might film my diy lash extensions at home i did these myself these are flutter habit lashes so i think i might film a review on it tonight also, I'm going to show you guys apartment updates. I haven't given you an update since my last video and the only update was the couch. So we got a lot more going on. We still need to get like wall art for the living room, my room, like a little bar cart area. So there's still a lot of little pieces to buy, which is kind of annoying because I already spent like $500 million. So this is the first update. We have this mirror that we put up and then these little cube things. We obviously don't have anything in there and then huge update. We have the wall There is like some space at the top 
but that's required by the building which is honestly probably better because that is our only source of air so having it open at the top i'm able to still feel the air in my room also we got matching desks and matching chairs obviously to make it look all nice and uniform i'm gonna make this space into my workstation and also vanity like i want to put all of my makeup in here and have a place to like sit and do my makeup because i don't have that right now i kind of want to get the mirror with like the light bulbs but i don't know how that's gonna look next to this monitor so i don't know i'll have to see and find out and here is our tv with our tv stand this is the most exciting part ever it lights up so there's led lights the tv is really low i don't know if we're gonna mount it like since it's so like close and then over here we have our bar cart want to get wall art for here because it just looks a little sad and empty our bar cart is also a little bit sad and empty but we will fix that soon this is how my room ended up looking like obviously we don't got much room to walk through i kind of have to walk sideways to get to my bed a little bit but yeah this is how the place is looking so far it definitely looks way better with all the furniture that's the update for now and i think i'm gonna go film my video and i'll show you i guess what i eat for dinner i don't really know what i want for dinner i might make short rib that i got from trader joe's if you like korean short rib you have to get the short rib from trader joe's h mart sells it but it's like 30 something dollars and it was 13 from trader joe's so and it's really good so i'll show you once i eat dinner even though this entire vlog has literally been me showing you what i eat for every meal because i haven't done anything other than that if you haven't had this you need to try even if you don't like mochi i had like a mango one from Shoprite, and i thought i didn't like mochi ever since then but i just had like the wrong brand and i also never used to eat green tea ice cream until this but it tastes so good i'm obsessed like i could eat all six in one sitting probably but i've been limiting myself to like two max already 10 42 so i'm gonna go to bed pretty soon but i was just watching love island and editing my video so this probably wraps up the night thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and if you made it this far i know majority of it was literally like i just said about food and like what i ate it was not that much of an eventful weekend it was just a very realistic like that's what the typical weekend looks like for me i'm also trying to get better at vlogging like it's still not second nature for me to just like pick up the camera and like vlog every moment of my day or like i'll sometimes miss things and i was like like, oh like i should have vlogged that i think i'm getting a little better as like each video goes on and i'm gonna try to make it more of a habit rather than me having to like remember like oh i have to vlog this or like oh i totally forgot i was vlogging like that happened on friday but yeah thanks so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye